Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply Facebook Remarketing 2019-2020 video training. Designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of Facebook Remarketing in 2019 and 2020 on behalf of your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate Facebook Remarketing in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos ready to show you the latest Facebook remarketing strategies through 2019 and 2020. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Video number one. What is Facebook remarketing all about in 2019 and 2020? Video number two. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using your sources? Video number three. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using Facebook sources? Video number four. Creating a custom audience by using your sources. Video number five. Creating a custom audience by using Facebook sources. Video number six. Reaching new people who matter to your business with lookalike audiences. Video number seven. Using saved audience to save your commonly used targeting options. Video number eight. Creating a Facebook remarketing campaign by using your sources. Video number nine. Creating a Facebook remarketing campaign by using Facebook sources. Video number 10. Creating a lookalike audience Facebook remarketing campaign. Video number 11. Creating a saved audience Facebook remarketing campaign. Video number 12. Skyrocket conversion rates by retargeting specific URL visits. Video number 13. Dramatically increase lead generation rates by using page engagement. Video number 14. Considerably grow ROI by upselling to your past customers. Video number 15. Remark it to those who almost completed their purchase. Video number 16. Convert free trial users to customers by remarketing to them. Video number 17. Facebook remarketing do's and don'ts in 2019 and 2020. Video number 18. Facebook remarketing premium tools and services to consider in 2019 and 2020. Video number 19. Facebook remarketing success stories. Video number 20. Facebook remarketing frequently asked questions in 2019 and 2020. Well, it's time for you to start getting the most out of Facebook remarketing in 2019 and 2020 on behalf of your business. I know you'll love this training. What is Facebook remarketing all about in 2019 and 2020? What is remarketing? Remarketing is one of the latest digital marketing techniques today. It is a procedure that allows you to follow up with audiences that may have, first, already been converted, second, clicked on some adverts, third, previously visited your website, fourth, shown interest in your products, or even, fifth, made some purchases from you. About 2% of customers will usually convert the first time they visit a website. The remaining 98% of the traffic won't patronize you for reasons only known to them. If, for instance, someone leaves your website without completing a call to action, you can draw them back to your website through the remarketing technique. Whether it is buying a product or signing up to a service, remarketing is one major way to leave a lasting impression in the mind of your visitors. It is so effective that it guarantees your business is placed in front of your visitors' minds even days after visiting your site. What is Facebook remarketing? There are chances you must have seen some adverts on Facebook that looks like they were specifically drafted for you. Or perhaps you would spend some time reading about a particular thing on Facebook, but before you know it, you begin to see related pop-ups in your feed. If that sounds familiar, then that is Facebook remarketing. Facebook remarketing is probably the most effective tool in the Facebook arsenal. It is the act of running Facebook ads targeted towards audiences who have visited your site but are yet to purchase, those that are already converted, and those who may not be familiar with your product but are likely to buy. Note, if you are serious about retargeting with Facebook, 
there is no way you won't use the Facebook Pixel. This is a little piece of code that tracks and boosts ROI for your business. Through this tracking pixel, you can recognize your audience's behavior and then run targeted ads to suit their browsing or search history. How can remarketing benefit my business? No business will be content with only a single purchase without keeping in touch with their customers. This is why you must remarket quickly and strategically. Remarketing is known to improve conversions radically. Simply put, each exposure to your brand makes it more likely for your existing customers to buy more and to create new customers. Thus, instead of starting over to reach unfamiliar customers, a well-placed and timed remarketing campaign will help you cut down on your marketing costs, build a customer base easily, and generate more sales. In summary, a few of the high-end benefits of remarketing for your business are as follows. Helps to improve your brand recall. Increases your conversion rate lowers the cost and loss of your ads, helps to improve the relevancy of your ads, allows you to uniquely target existing customers, boosts the effectiveness of your SEO. Why should I use Facebook for remarketing? The most important benefit of remarketing with Facebook is that it helps to boost conversions and lowers the overall cost per customer acquisition. In addition to this, using Facebook for remarketing allows you to only show your adverts to people who are genuinely interested in your product. Customize and improve your strategies to suit your customers' requirements and needs. Reach out to a large set of prospects and target various sets of audiences in different ways. Use your creativity to make different kinds of ads to target different or the same groups of people. Additionally, your ads will occupy your audience's Facebook feed. Through bids, you can also decide on when and where you want your adverts to be shown, thereby getting the utmost return on investment through efficient pricing. How can I get started with remarketing on Facebook? To start retargeting campaigns on Facebook, you need to concentrate on custom audiences. By putting rules in place as to who makes up your custom audience, you can target your ads towards them. That being said, here is a comprehensive outline that shows how you can implement Facebook retargeting into your existing advertising, or ways to take your remarketing campaigns to the next level. Number 1. Create, if you don't already have, and add a Facebook pixel to your site. Number 2. Log into the Facebook Business Manager. Number 3. Navigate to Ads Manager. Select and click on Audience. Number 4. Select Create Audiences and choose Custom Audience from the drop-down. Number 5. Select your target audience. This can be created based on website traffic and on the specific page of your website you would like to target. Number six, customize your target audience, placement, and the budget you want to allocate towards this campaign. Number seven, create an amazing advert to go with it. You are all set. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using your sources? Website traffic. Creating a custom audience from website traffic is fairly easy, and the first thing you'll need is an active website with content that attracts a healthy amount of traffic. It is important that you have admin access to your website's code. For example, a WordPress website that allows you to easily access the code from the dashboard, and that allows you to edit it manually. Also, you need an active Facebook Ads account from where you'll set up a Facebook tracking pixel. If you or someone from your team has already set up a pixel on your account, you'll need to sign up for a Facebook for Business account at https colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash business. The last thing you'll need is to install the Facebook tracking pixel on your website. After your pixel starts tracking traffic, you will be able to create a custom audience using website traffic. App Activity You can create a custom audience made of people who have used your app. To create this type of custom audience, you first need to create an app on Facebook. To create an app, start by going to https colon forward slash forward slash developers.facebook.com forward slash apps in your browser. Click on the New App tab. 
enter your new app's display name and your contact email in the pop-up, and click on Create App ID. Next, select a scenario where you'll integrate your new app with Facebook and click on Confirm. Then start building your app for its intended use. Of course, you'll need to get people to use your app so Facebook can add these users to your custom audience. You can reach potential app users by promoting it organically and by creating an ad campaign to advertise your app. You can do it by going to the campaign creation page in your Facebook Ads Manager at facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash creation and selecting app installs as your marketing objective. Customer file. One of the best and most cost effective ways of creating a custom audience on Facebook is by using a customer file. Facebook scans the information in your customer file to locate leads and customers among its users. Once Facebook locates these users, it will add them to your custom audience. The first step that you have to take is to connect your ad account to the business manager if you haven't already. All you have to do is to click on the menu icon from your ads manager dashboard and to select audiences. On the audiences page, you'll be prompted to connect this ad account to the business manager. Click on Connect and then on Create New Business if you have not set up a business before. Next, you need a customer file. You can create a customer file by downloading a customer file template from facebook.com forward slash images forward slash ads forward slash signals forward slash example underscore files forward slash example underscore audience underscore file dot CSV. Then all you have to do is to add the customer information to each tab on the Excel file. Offline activity. Facebook also allows you to create a custom audience from people who have interacted with your business offline, such as people who have visited your store. To create this type of custom audience, you will need to create an offline event first. Start on your Ads Manager dashboard. Click on the menu icon and then click on Offline Events. On this page, you will be asked to upload a file with details about offline events. You can download an offline events template on this page by clicking on Download Example CSV File. In this file, you will add the personal and contact info of an in-store lead or customer, and then the offline event at the end of the file. In this example, we are adding a purchase as the offline event and the amount spent. Save your file and then click on Select File. Upload your file and click on Map Data. Make sure that all data is mapped correctly and then click on Review. Review the information on the next page and click on Start Upload. After all the data is hashed, click on Close and see results. Your new offline event has been set up and now you can use it to create a custom audience. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using Facebook Sources? Video To create a custom audience from a video on Facebook, you need to post a video to your Facebook business page first. You can do it by going to your business page, clicking on the photo or video button under Write Post, upload your video, and optimize the caption to generate attention and organic traffic. You can increase the reach of your video so you can add even more people to your custom audience by clicking on the Boost Post button after you publish your video. Make sure to select Video Views as your objective, set up your audience, and click on Boost. Lead Form You can create a custom audience made of people who have opened or completed one of your Facebook lead gen forms. You can create lead gen form ads from the Ads Manager by selecting Lead Generation as your marketing objective. Create the ad set by setting up a target audience, placements, and budget. Next, set up your ad creative by selecting a format, media, and entering your ad copy. Lastly, click on the new form button to create and customize your lead gen form. You can launch your campaign after you finish it. Instant Experience You can also create a custom audience made of people who have interacted with your Instant Experience posts on Facebook. To create an instant experience post to collect remarketing leads, go to your Facebook page and click on photo or video, then select instant experience. 
Now add a caption on top of the post and click on the plus button to start adding your elements. You can add buttons, image carousels, photos, text blocks, videos, and headers to an instant experience post. Click on save after you add all your elements and then on finish. Now select your new instant experience from the field menu and then click on share now. You can increase the number of people that will interact with this post by boosting it. Instagram Business Profile You can create a custom audience from people who have interacted with your Facebook ads on Instagram. For this, you will need to connect Instagram to your ads account. Go to the Ads Manager and click on the menu icon. Click on Business Settings and then on the Accounts tab on the next page. Now click on Instagram Accounts. Click on Add and enter your Instagram username and password in the pop-up. Now connect your ad account to Instagram and click on Finish. Then confirm by clicking on Done. Events You can create custom audiences made of people who have interacted with your events on Facebook. To create this type of audience, you will need to set up an event first. Start by going to your Facebook business page. Now click on the Events button. Now you can start customizing your event by adding a promo photo or video, the event name, the location and description, selecting an event category, a frequency, dates, and times. You can also add other pages or friends as event co-host, a schedule, and keywords to maximize organic reach. Now customize admissions and permissions to post on the event page. Then click on Publish. You can increase the number of people that interact with your event by clicking on the Boost Event button on the event page and customizing an ad campaign to promote the event. Facebook Page Lastly, you can create a custom audience made of people who follow or that have interacted with your Facebook business page. The only requirement to create this type of audience is that you have an active Facebook page that drives constant engagement. You can increase the number of people to add to this type of audience by creating an ad to promote your page. On the Campaign Creation page, select Engagement as your marketing objective. Then select what type of engagement you'd like to drive, post engagement or page likes. Then create the ad campaign. Creating a custom audience by using your sources. Hello there, everyone. Let's take this training one step further. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create custom audiences using your sources. To create any type of custom audience, you have to click on the menu icon from the Ads Manager dashboard. Next, you have to click on Audiences. On the next page, you'll simply have to click on the Custom Audiences button. This will open the menu from where you'll select the type of custom audience that you want to set up. Ready to get started? Website Traffic Okay, let's first create a custom audience using website traffic. First, click on the Website Traffic option. Now let's add people to your audience. Start by selecting an inclusion criteria. Select any if you want to add people who meet the criteria that you select, or select all if you want to add people that meet all of the criteria that you select. Now click on the drop down menu below to select the pixel that you edited to track the users that you add to this audience. Now start selecting the criteria. Here you can select all website visitors and the number of days since they were last active on your site, people who visited specific web pages and enter the exact page they visited, and visitors by time spent and select time spent on site as a percentile. You can include more criteria by clicking on include more people and applying the same steps. You can also exclude criteria by clicking on exclude people and applying the same steps. Now enter the name of your new audience in the name your audience field and click on create audience. App activity. To create a custom audience from app activity, select app activity from this menu. Now select an inclusion criteria. Now select the app from where you want to get users to your custom audience. Next, select your criteria. Here you can select anyone who opened the app and then select the number of days that have passed since they last opened your app. Most active users 
and then select top active users by percentile, users by purchase amount, and then top purchasers by percentile, and users by segment. Please be aware that to select users by segment, you will need to define segments in Facebook Analytics first. Next, include or exclude more criteria. Then enter the name of this new audience into the Name Your Audience field and click on Create Audience. Customer File To create a custom audience from a customer file, select Customer File from this menu. Next, you have to select what type of customer file you're going to import. Select Use a file that includes customer lifetime value if you added customer lifetime value as a customer attribute to your file. Select Use a file that doesn't include lifetime value if you didn't include this as a customer attribute to your file. Or select Import from MailChimp if you want to import your customer file from your MailChimp contacts. For this example, we are going to select Use a file that doesn't include lifetime value. Next up, select your original data source. Then click on Upload File to upload the file from your computer. Now enter the name of your new audience and click on Next. Now review the information that will be mapped to your audience and click on Upload and Create. Offline Activity To create a custom audience from Offline Activity, you have to select Offline Activity from this menu. Next, select an Inclusion Criteria. Then select an Offline Event from the list. Now select your criteria. Here you can select people who interacted offline and the number of days that have passed since they last interacted with your business offline. This criteria includes any or all people in your custom offline event that matches a Facebook profile. You can include or exclude people using a different offline event. After this, enter the name of your new audience and then click on Create Audience. And this is it, my friends.